Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 14. Since the onset of COVID-19 in 2020, there's been a significant increase in the use of chatbots. Many companies have switched to chatbots for customer service support because their physical call centers were closed. A good chatbot might respond to up to 80% of the most common customer questions. But according to Lauren Kunze, CEO of Pandora Bots, Having a human in the loop to make sure that the bot doesn't learn bad things based on bad human actors on the other end of the line is also really critical. Chatbots have benefited from huge recent breakthroughs in language models, but there have not been the same kind of breakthroughs in natural language understanding. According to Kunze, most of the work in chatbot development happens after the bot is launched, based on how customers actually interact with the system. In the bot world, there's no one particular data set that everyone uses and benchmarks against. However, Reddit is a commonly used source for training data for bots. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 14 for more. Wastewater-based epidemiology, or WBE, is a new tool that has gained traction since the onset of COVID-19. In a recent paper in Environmental Science and Technology Letters, Dutch researchers showed that sewage can be used to profile an area's population. Since wastewater samples can be analyzed at a relatively low cost and high frequency, WBE has the potential to act as a complementary tool for infectious disease surveillance systems and an early warning system for disease outbreaks. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 14 for more. Serverless computing, or serverless, is a cloud computing model with a pricing advantage, since cost tends to be based on an application's actual resource consumption. According to this gradient flow chart, on July 11, 2020, Washington, D.C. had more serverless job postings than New York City, SF Bay, and other U.S. metro areas. Amazon tops the list of companies in those metro areas with the most serverless job postings. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Mm-hmm.